How's it guys? This is Sheshwanalia from Unnamed.0za. In this video I'm going to show you guys how I made a normal map based off your environment and not the actual local object and it's also not Blender's internal normals because I couldn't get that working nice on flat images afterwards. But in any case, so then yeah we've got a basic 3D model I made, added some normals, you can see it's a flat plane, same here it works with sprites, some pixel art, it'll be pretty cool having the light be able to come past and your sprites in the scene. I think. Anyway, so enough of that, let's jump into it. Okay, for the sake of this purpose, uh, for this test, we're going to just add a sphere, up the resolution a bit, and then reset the camera, put it top down. Unfortunately, these normals only work from top down because of the HDRI. And then I'm going to set the camera to just like a normal square, so there's renders of cycles. And then for the sake of the this demo, yeah, I'll set it to orthographic, get it a bit closer. Okay, and we add a plane for the background. Put it nice in the background so it doesn't get involved. Set it to diffuse, okay, and sorry, emission. Set it to, what is that, 807FFF. You can see it's a nice little render. Okay, and then next up. We're gonna go to light paths. I'm gonna set zero. These other two I'm also gonna set to zero. I'm not too sure what they do, but yeah, for the sake of this, go to color management, set standard, high contrast, and sRGB. Okay, next background, we go to environment, open the HDRL normal map. Sorry if this is a bit fast. I'm gonna get the video done quick, set it to 1.6, and sRGB. It's also quite important. Then ray visibility, uh, we're gonna switch up everything except for the fuse and camera. Well, for the camera I'm going to switch off, but you can see what it does. Okay, the next up, I'm going to set it to 50 for the sake of the, the render. There we go, that looks like a normal map to me. Then, let's give this one a save. You can see I've done a few tests on that. Don't need all file. Okay, now we can make a new file, general, delete that. You can Import as plane, but uh, for the sake of this, I'm just going to go normal plane. In this little EV, we're going to do the same here, set your resolution to something square, 50% resolution. Then we'll also set the graphics author, author, whatever. Excuse me. Anyways, set the plane a bit bigger and then get the light a bit closer so we can see the effect of it once we have everything set up. Then, like you set up a normal material with a normal map. Actually, we're just going to set up the normal map, put the roughness all the way up. Let's go to your shade editor, and when we get that normal map, add a normal map, connect the two, okay. Then, let's go have a look. Here we go, it's already, seems to be working. Yeah, there we can see the normal maps interacting normal, <laughs> I guess. And then, yeah, it throws this weird line over the the normal map. But I've even tried normal normal maps; it does the same. So maybe it's something with Blender the way it renders its normal. So I'm not too sure. Let's open the sample now. Here on the left, we've got a normal map I made based off the HDR. On the right, we've got one I've downloaded. I think it's some OpenCL or something like that official one so if you look here from first glance they look almost identical it's just with a torus there you can see I'm having difficulty but that's because the light doesn't actually bounce through the object with the HDR so if someone knows how to fix that then please let me know then their EV and uh, cycles both of them render pretty good in my opinion considering you're actually rendering normals of a HDRI and then yeah just a small disclaimer I mean this yeah, light doesn't go through objects, that's why normal won't be 100% the same. And uh, um, this is not the internal normal render, so I couldn't get that working nicely. I'll add you guys the demo in the download link. And then, yeah, if you guys have any ways of making this better, please let me know in the comments. Thanks. Cheers. Oh, yeah. You're welcome to subscribe if you want. <laughs>